Sir, um, you've spoken against uh, welfare uh, creating a culture of dependency on uh, poor people. Uh, th doesn't it amount to welfare when uh, Wall Street gets bailouts, when the Federal Reserve uh, uh, you know, pr does preferential economic policies towards the big banks, mining companies get handouts, broadcasters get free airwaves? Isn't it time to get big business off of welfare as well? It's time to get everybody off of welfare. And the only way you're going to do that is to totally eliminate the tax code and replace it with the fair tax, which is a national consumption tax. Look, as long as we have the current tax code, politicians and administrations will always have the discretion to pick winners and losers, whether they're picking it for Wall Street, whether they're picking it for corporations. And so the only way to solve the problem isn't to just say we're going to get rid of all of it unless we get rid of the entire tax code. That's the ultimate solution. But are you, are you for getting rid of um, uh, too big to fail type things? Uh, yes, the I am. Yes, I am, I, I, I am against uh, the, the too big to fail philosophy. The way you sort out winners and losers is not by the government making that decision. You let the marketplace make that decision. That's why we have bankruptcy laws. But the, fun, the bigger problem is e eliminating the tax code, replacing it, such that we don't have the opportunity for a lot of those kinds of programs to be inserted into the economic process. But weren't you for the, uh, the bailouts? What, you know, Goldman Sachs and uh, no. AIG and all of them were no. on the verge of going under. I thought Let's you were clarify. For and I hope you run this clip over and over and over and over. I was for the concept of TARP because of the financial meltdown we were looking at because I studied the financial meltdown, which was drastic, and we needed to do something drastic. Where I parted ways with TARP was when the administration started to pick and choose winners and come up with these concepts like too big to fail. I didn't agree with that. I think that the administration of the TARP funds was too discretionary. And even on top of that, they tried to get some banks to take money that they didn't want. That wasn't how I expected the administration to utilize those funds. That's when I parted ways with the whole concept. How do you explain um, something like uh, Jesus' teaching that it's easier for the rich man to pass through the eye of a ne needle with your own philosophy? I believe in a philosophy of help those that help themselves. I and believe what happens to the others who can't for some reason? Help those that help themselves. Uh -huh. And if, those that do, if people can help themselves and they don't want to help themselves, well, yes, there will always be some compassionate people out there, some compassionate ways to help them. But the problem with a lot of... You. Pardon? But that's not you. Oh, no, it is me. Yeah, if, you were, if you were familiar with my giving and my compassion, I help people who help themselves. One of the fundamental things that I want to change as President of the United States is we've got to get away from this entitlement society to an empowerment society. And if people aren't willing to help themselves... Now, the good news is more people are willing to help themselves. But I happen to believe that a lot of the programs encourage people to stay on government programs rather than encouraging people to get off of government programs. That's what I mean by restructuring these programs and convert it to an empowerment society.